welcome to today's tip. Now I've just cut out a um, die cut circle there and then I've stuck this piece of cardstock onto my card. What we're going to be doing is using these landscape stamps. Now you don't have to have landscape stamps like this. This is from Heroscapes and it's really beautiful but you don't have to have that. You can use your individual stamps and build up a landscape yourself. I'm just going to pull out the two sections there of the lavender field and all I'm going to do is just, just kind of do different strengths of my black ink. I want this to be a black and white um, scape and I'm using my archival black ink here. And then what I'm going to do is, so I can manage the density of the blackness, I'm just going to do one release off there, just so I can see kind of how it's going. And now I'm going to start adding my scape to my paper. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to this one, and this one I'm going to make really, really juicy. And I just layer it over exactly where the other one is. And this one's got other detail in it. Again, I'm going to be pressing really hard. So now we're building up a little bit. Now, normally you wouldn't worry about doing this with um, your normal stamps. And because we're using all black, it doesn't really matter how we're layering it up. But I really love the kind of image that it creates there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move on to some of the other elements on this stamp set. I've got some clouds here, I've got a little house. So I think I'm just going to put a house on the horizon there. Again, just sticking with black and white. And then last but not least, I'm going to put the clouds on. So the first one I'm going to put down, I'm going to just put a nice solid one and then the second one I'm going to do less solid so we get these lovely gradients of cloud and then I'm just going to finish with the title and so there we have it what a beautiful card um, and a lovely way just cutting out the outside there just giving it a completely different focus I hope you've enjoyed this one and I look forward to seeing you next time